In the last couple of weeks, it's almost like there's been a chorus of senior business leaders all calling for executives to come back into the office. The work from home, in theory, has not worked uh, to the extent that the companies are looking for. They're citing that there is a, a lack of productivity. They're concerned that executives are distracted in the home environment. <sighs> Dear, where do I start? Um, I have a few concerns that a lot of this is being driven by the fact that in every capital city, the buildings are literally empty. There are people just not commuting into the city and if they are, they're commuting Tuesday to Thursday. It is a dead zone in most capital cities on a Monday and a Friday. Certainly on a Friday, you would be hard pressed to find a lot of people in the CBD. Uh, cafes, restaurants, pubs, they're all very, very quiet. And, you know, the reality is that people have really embraced work from home uh, policies. They've uh, enjoyed the fact that they don't have to commute. And now being told you've got to come into the offices now full time is a real challenge for a lot of people. And particularly at a time when cost of living pressures have sort of gone up, uh, you know, you've then got to reinvest in childcare and scenarios, commuting and getting into offices. I think it's really been a transformation and I think a lot of executives might initially go along with going back into the offices, but most people that I'm talking to, and I mean by most, 95% of executives that I'm talking to are saying to me they want flexibility with their work opportunities. They want the ability to be able to work from home, at least on a hybrid basis. And I think employers who don't engage with that are going to potentially lose talent. I think talent will walk. And, you know, I just have too many people on my books now that will walk from organisations that aren't providing that flexibility. It's the number one criteria now that people do look for with uh, work moves. And I'm talking even very senior business executives. So I, I, I'm sympathetic to a certain extent with the companies that have, you know, sort of realised, looked around, they've got all this sort of office space and it's now empty and they're struggling to get people back into to the workplaces but they're going to have to really rethink collaboration they're going to have to rethink collaboration tools you know we as a business we've been operating virtually for nearly 20 plus years so this is nothing new to us but we collaborate with our staff 24 by 7 I mean we're on chat forums we're talking to each other as if we were in the office so we have a very high level of collaboration I think with technology you can do extremely well and good business leaders will be able to get the best out of their employees regardless of where they're operating in my opinion so it's going to be a very interesting time to see what happens obviously big corporates are you know demanding in some instances that their employees come back into the workplace full time. I certainly am aware that there are certain types of industries where that's just critical and I do you know understand that uh, you can't have everyone working remotely but the days of hybrid are, are here to stay in my opinion and you're going to have to sort of try and adopt uh, different ways of collaborating different ways of getting the most out of your employees allowing them some flexibility allowing them some autonomy and thinking about which roles really do have to be in an office full time, uh, you know, face to face. And if you are going to bring people back into the offices, give them a desk, give them, uh, you know, sort of uh, a purpose to be back in there. Don't give them a hot desk and a locker and say, good luck. You know, you're going to have to, if you're going to bring people back into the workplaces, you're going to have to make those workplaces engaging and give them some incentive to be back in there because the commute doesn't make it worthwhile for a lot of people. Uh, the cost of coming back into the offices doesn't make it worthwhile for a lot of people. So you're going to have to really think about how you lift the, uh, the fun factor, the engagement factor to make it worthwhile uh, for people to really engage genuinely back in those, uh, you know, ivory tower offices that are now uh, in some cases uh, fairly empty. <laughs> Challenging times ahead on both sides of the equation.